So, presenting our next speaker. She is an alumni from the, the School of Business. Okay, she, gra she just recently graduated in December 2011 with a Bachelor of Business Administration Honours. Okay, she previously spent a year in the Silicon Valley under the NOC program and currently runs a local office of Oh, sorry, video collaboration startup VC. Okay, she'll, she'll be sharing with us our, her experiences of working in pajamas. Thankfully, she is well dressed right now. <laughs> yes, so. Okay, um, thanks, Ignite and US for inviting me. So, uh, let me just share with you my story again. I graduated from NUS Business School last sem. Um, you know, when I was in NUS, I was involved in some student societies that were related to entrepreneurship. My passion lies a lot in entrepreneurship and technology. So uh, I was very lucky when I got to go for NOC and intern for this video collaboration startup called VC, uh, which I'm still working for today. And you can see my shirt is VC. Um, so at VC, we are very similar to Skype, except that we allow you to do multi-party video calls for free. You can share any application or spot me in a photo. You can share any application and send files. Um, you know, with a single click. So the whole idea is that um, you can work collab uh, collaboratively with uh, your remote party very easily and very feasibly. So we have this tiny work culture in VC where, you know, the whole idea is why do you have to fight rush hour traffic to go to work when you can work from home four days a week and go to office on Fridays for free office lunch. And for me, because I'm remote and head office is in Silicon Valley, I go to office only once a year. Um, for AGM. And um, so one very good thing about tidy commute for me is that I can work and travel at the same time. Uh, essentially what I really need is a decent 3G or Wi-Fi connection and I can be working, you know, uh, anywhere that I want to be. And the other good thing about telecommute is that uh, it's comfort plus plus. You know, all of us tend to work uh, when we wake up or just before we sleep. So it's not uncommon that we are always in our pajamas. I always see my colleagues in pajamas in their home clothes and, you know, uh, were, were not penalized for that. And you know, sometimes if we have meetings early in the morning or late at night, some of us will be eating our breakfast and eating our late night snack. Or if we have to meet a client, then we put on a more formal talk, but we the table, it's still our shorts. Uh, yeah, you can guess which one's me. Um, and the other good thing is that, you know, I never have to worry about rush hour traffic, because um, at the start of the week, I typically see all these tweets bitching about SMRT, but I'm like, oh yay! <laughs> my, my workplace is just 10 steps away from my bed. So I'm, uh, you know, always so thankful for that. And on good days, you know, my timing is really, really flexible. Wake up sometime around noon, meet up with some friends, come to NUS for Ignite Talk, do some work, you know, go home, maybe, you know, do a bit more work and then go to sleep past midnight. But it's really flexible, it's really up to you. For me, I'm nocturnal, but for you, you know, it's up to you to plan your own day. And therefore, I get a lot of work-life balance. Although some of my friends tend to say that I get too much on one side of the scale. I won't say which one. Yeah. Oh, but on the flip side, you know, um, being flexible also means that sometimes your hours can get really, really long, uh, especially when it's near deadlines. So I sometimes I have to work in the day to prep for a meeting at night because it's morning in the US and after the meeting I post, you know, post meeting follow ups. So it can get easily get to like 18, 20, 18 to 20 hour day, kind of like investment banking. Um, and unfortunately during those lonely days, my best friends are my computer and my uh, handphone. How deep is that? Um, yeah, which is good for the closet gigs, but sometimes, um, and sometimes, you know, when you're busy, uh, you really don't want anyone to disturb you. But who am I kidding, right? Because the internet has so much distractions, and MSN, Facebook, YouTube, and recently it's not nine yet. So, um, if you're ever, ever, ever bored of online distractions, when you're at home, there's full of offline distractions, like your game console, your Kindle, the latest episode of How I Met Your Mother, and me. <laughs> Is always calling out for you, and it's only 10 steps away. How tempting is that? Yeah. Okay. So, a lot of distraction. And um, the other thing is that you kind of have to balance between your family um, obligations and your work. My parents are actually retired, so they like to talk to me as and when they want, ask me to run errands, tell me gossip about relatives, but sometimes they can get really, really disruptive when you're trying to work. So, um, and on the flip side, you know, oh, sorry, on a separate note. Um, I'm based in Singapore, a lot of my colleagues are based everywhere around the world and we all tele work. So um, having a meeting means having to coordinate between like at least four different time zones and that can get uh, really difficult and sometimes you kind of miss out on what's happening back in a home office. So uh, the point is what you really need uh, for telework is a lot of discipline and a good working environment and sometimes having a very unfriendly door hanger uh, could help. Yeah.
and uh, I think the next slide will show a summary of some of the key points that uh, I shared regarding my own experiences today. But I know most of you here today are NUS students, so let me do some marketing. <laughs> 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 yeah, so uh, last semester I actually worked with a couple of friends on a project and we tried to do it online. We tried a variety of online collaboration tools like uh, Skype, Google Plus, Hangout, VC. And it was an unbiased, unanimous decision that VC was the most effective for work collaboration. <laughs> to work with your friends uh, remotely, try VC, vc.org, just go to vc.com, it's free and it works for Windows and Mac. Thank you. Awesome.